What's up guys, Arlo Mike 18 here with another DVD review and unboxing, and right in front of me I have X-Men First Class. X-Men First Class was the fifth film, is the fifth film of the X-Men um, movie franchise, and in my opinion, probably the best one they made so far. Um, I really enjoyed the story to it, all the different characters they had, but I'm not here to talk um, completely about and uh, review the movie, I'm here to unbox it and um, give a general rating. But anyway, let's um, review and unbox this movie. Um, right on the front cover, right in the middle, it says X-Men First Class, and if you can see half of an X right here, if you look at my, where my finger is going, there's half of an X on the other side, you're going to get the other half of the X. Um, which is pretty cool. I like how they did that. Um, for the DVD, this um slip cover is very nice cover art. But anyway, here is um James McAvoy as Professor X, Charles Xavier. Um, really enjoyed his performance as Professor X. Um, there's Havoc. I do not know his actor's name. Uh, there's um Mystique or Raven, and um actually Jennifer Lawrence plays Raven. I do know her because she um just starred in Hunger Games as Katniss, the main main protagonist of the film. So I really enjoyed um on um, learning that she just was in X Men First Class and now she's in Hunger Games. So pretty interesting. There's Agent McTaggart in the movie, um and then there's uh Beast Tank McCoy. And um right to the side, um right in the upper part of this cover, you have um the the jet that they use at the end of the movie and on the side it just says X Men First Class right across. Nothing too interesting about the side. It's gonna say the same thing on both sides of the slip cover. If you take a look at the back, they have um the Hellfire Club. Um and then right in the front there is um Michael Fossbender who played uh, Magneto or Eric Lenger. Oh, I'm sorry if I said his name wrong. Um his last name wrong. Uh, there's Kevin Bacon as Sebastian Shaw, and I enjoyed, back to Michael Fassbender, his performance was really good. Him and Professor X, they, they really, I'm um, James McAvoy, really, um, great, um, job in this movie. Uh, Kevin Bacon also, very good acting from him as Sebastian Shaw. Um, here is, um, Emma Frost, uh, also part of the Hellfire Club. Here is Azazel, another guy, I'm sorry if I said his name wrong, part of the Hellfire Club. And here is this mutant, I do not know her name, I know she was originally part of Xavier's team, but um, she joined uh, Sebastian Shaw in the middle of the film. Sorry to spoil that, but um, she did. So, um, very, very interesting. And here you could barely just see uh, some of the missiles, and then the submarine that um, Michael Foss, um, Magneto, Eric Lenger, uh, lift it up at the end of the movie. So, very, very interesting. Uh, let's take off the slip cover. And it's going to be different. So, i got to have time to actually review this here. Again, on the regular DVD cover. Here they are together. Um, here's the jet that um, was used then in the film. Uh, X-Men First Class, again. Right, written right across. Um, there's a big X symbol right in the background. As you can see, another quote. Exciting, bold, immensely fun. And then right in the center, you have Professor X. Right to his left, you have um, Magneto. There's Mystique. There's Havoc again. Um, there's Beast again. And there's Emma Frost again. And you can see the missiles in the background. Very, very interesting. And on the side of the cover, um, which is very, very cool, they have a picture of Magneto. There's X-Men First Class and like a smaller kind of lettering. And then there's a picture of uh, Professor X. So very, very cool. Um, then again, you have more pictures of the characters, so you, they just keep showing these guys all over this packaging. Here is, um, picture of, again, Eric Lenger, Charles Xavier, uh, Kevin Bacon and Sebastian Shaw, Emma Frost, uh, Mystique, and, um, I do not know her name. I just know that she was in The Brave One. That's the only thing I know about her. There's a very short bio on the film. Uh, the special features are listed right below that. You do get uh, a special feature called Children of the Atom, Second Genesis, and Band of Brothers. Okay. I haven't checked that out yet, but I'm sure it's pretty interesting. Uh, there's a picture of Emma Frost. Um, there's a picture of Beast fighting Azazel in the end of the movie. Uh, there's a picture of um, Eric lifting up the submarine at the end. Very cool. Love the music, the background, uh, the music that was playing when he was listen lifting up the submarine. Very cool. Here's a picture again of uh, Eric. So, very, very cool. 
um, movie, I will say that. And then when you open it up again, uh, you're going to get cover art, which I do appreciate. There's the uh, X symbol again, uh, X-Men First Class right across there. Um, there is Charles Xavier, uh, very tiny, you can see Havoc, you can see Beast and Emma Frost, and then right on this side you can see Eric Lenger, uh, Magneto, you can also see Mystique, um, yeah, that is Mystique, or Raven, uh, Azazel, and then Sebastian Shaw, Kevin Bacon. So, all that, you don't get any papers or anything, but, that's first class, guys. Um, and believe me, uh, hold on, let me just put the stuff cover back on. Uh, first class was definitely uh, the best in my opinion. Had a really great story. I really enjoyed how they showed um, when um, President Kennedy came on TV during the 1960s during the uh, Cuban Missile Crisis. I enjoyed how that was um, part of the plot, the Cuban Missile Crisis at the end. So I really enjoyed it, and it's basically um, the Hellfire Club was trying to start like a nuclear war because they wanted to like take over as um, mutants and. Um, Xavier has to stop them, along with um, Eric Lunger. And then it's just the origins of how um, uh, Professor X, how he met um, Magnino, and how they were friends before they were enemies, as um, they were enemies in the first um, film, the first three films. But, um, very, very good movie. And I do apologize if I don't know much about uh, X-Men. I have, uh, like, more of a background story of X-Men. I have not read the X-Men comics, so... All that I've seen in the movies, all I know in the movies is all I know about X-Men, because I've never read the comics. To give this movie a rating, I'm probably going to give it an 8.5 out of 10, or possibly a 9 out of 10, because this movie really did have a great story. And again, I enjoyed how the Cuban Missile Crisis was um, in this movie, and just, like, the story, like I said, was good. The characters were all good. I enjoyed seeing different characters. I did miss old characters like Storm, but this was the origins of, um, Professor Xavier and Magneto. So, it was based on them and who they have met in the past in the 1960s. And, like I said, I did, um, I don't believe I've said, uh, mentioned this before, but, um, Hugh Jackman, Hugh Jackman's appearance, uh, his cameo, as Wolverine, very funny. But X-Men First Class, guys, I definitely recommend you guys see it. It was definitely a great summer movie. wasn't my favorite, but still, um, it was great. I hope you guys liked this DVD review and unboxing. More stuff coming, guys. Bye.